Amid a massive dip in the cryptocurrency market, most of its major assets are declining, and XRP is no exception, having lost over 13% on the day, which has added to the loss of nearly 20% on its weekly chart, but there are more reasons behind the token's crash than just the bearish market sentiment. Indeed, the XRP crash has also coincided with the court in the case between blockchain company Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission granting the regulators' request for a motion for leave to file an interlocutory appeal on August 17th. Ripple has opposed the SEC's request to file an interlocutory appeal while addressing Judge Rakoff's decision regarding its victory. By the way, XRP has continued to drop to vital support levels, thereby attracting whale investors who have taken to accumulating more tokens. Also, what is the catch to the Japan's SBIVC trade latest coin lending recruitment program for XRP? Finally, Fox correspondent Gasparino drops a hot take on the future of XRP, reporting that Judge Torres' Ripple ruling was a joke and should not be considered a win by Ripple. But the big question remains this, is the future of XRP uncertain with the latest turn out of events? Stick with me till the end to find out more. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of participating, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP and the winner will be announced on the 31th of August. Leading blockchain company Ripple Labs has filed an opposition to the SEC's anticipated interlocutory appeal motion relating to the summary judgment decision by Judge Annalisa Torres. In an August 16th letter shared by seasoned lawyer James K. Fillon, Ripple asked the court to reject the SEC's anticipated motion for leave to file an interlocutory appeal. The defendants opposed the appeal on three grounds. Firstly, Ripple argued that the summary judgment decision laid down by Judge Torres on July 13th does not involve a controlling question of law. Secondly, the leading blockchain company and its execs argued that the SEC could not show a substantial ground for a difference of opinion. Thirdly, Ripple stated that an immediate appeal by the SEC would not advance the termination of the litigation. It bears mentioning that an interlocutory appeal occurs when a court ruling is appealed while the case is still proceeding. The Ripple lawsuit still has pending issues the SEC's case against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. Notably, the SEC claims that Garlinghouse and Larson were reckless in allowing Ripple to distribute XRP the way it did. Although there are still unresolved issues in the lawsuit, the SEC is requesting to file an interlocutory appeal. The SEC aims to appeal Judge Torres' decision on Ripple's programmatic sales of XRP and other distributions. Meanwhile, the securities regulator will not challenge the ruling on Ripple's sales of XRP to institutional investors. It will also not appeal to the non-security status of XRP. Ripple lawyers argued that it is more appropriate for the SEC to appeal the court's ruling after a final judgment. In an attempt to get its request approved, the SEC argued that there is a controlling question of law on which there is substantial ground for differences of opinion. According to the SEC, there is already an interdistrict split in the Ripple ruling, as seen in the SEC versus Terra lawsuit. As reported, Judge Jed Rakoff, the judge overseeing the Terra case, rejected Judge Torres' logic in the Ripple ruling. Judge Rakoff rejected the reasoning, stating that the Howey test does not distinguish between buyers as Torres did. Thus, the SEC used the ruling as a basis to seek approval for its interlocutory appeal request. Fox Business journalist Eleanor Terrett highlighted how Ripple tackled Judge Rakoff's decision. In its letter, Ripple stated that its programmatic sales of XRP differ from Terra sales. Ripple Labs referenced the SEC's claim against Terra, showing how the company and its founder Duquan promised rates of returns of 19 to 20 percent on the coin owner's initial investment. Furthermore, Ripple pointed out that Terra and its founder conducted a public campaign encouraging retail and institutional investors to purchase their crypto assets. In contrast, in her summary judgment decision, Judge Torres found that Ripple did not make any promises or offers to retail investors during programmatic sales of XRP. It added that the Terra judge also agreed with Judge Torres that digital asset sales alone are not inherently securities offerings. 
As expected, the crypto community has been reacting to Ripple's opposition to the SEC's interlocutory appeal request. Reacting, pro-XRP lawyer John Deaton described Ripple's response as excellent. However, he expects Ripple's execs to make stronger arguments in their response to the request. Deaton said he would have speculated that Judge Torres would deny the SEC's appeal request if Rakoff did not reject her logic. But with the Rakoff ruling out there, Judge Torres, allowing the SEC to write a formal motion will give her an opportunity to further demonstrate why her decision is sound and based on evidence, Deaton added. Attorney Jeremy Hogan also reacted to the development, stating that Ripple made solid arguments. He noted that if the SEC's interlocutory appeal is allowed, Ripple will get its contractual obligations arguments in front of the Second District Court of Appeal. Attorney Hogan speculated that multiple amicus briefs would be filed in the case. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. XRP's collapse from the 98 cents yearly high has elicited concerns among investors and community members. However, amid these apprehensions, whale addresses have accumulated more tokens as the asset drops to significant support levels. Sentiment highlighted this growing pattern in a recent post, noting that XRP is among the few crypto assets witnessing an increase in whale activity despite a downward trajectory. In a report, Sentiment confirmed that whale transactions on the XRP network have resumed amid the price drop. According to the report, these transactions do not necessarily indicate whale accumulation. Notably, the increase in whale activity could be due to purchases or sell-offs. However, it is doubtful that deep-pocketed addresses are dumping amid a 16.8% decline. Sentiment emphasized that these whales habitually accumulate more tokens when an asset plummets. Interestingly, this increased whale activity began on August 13th after a period of sustained inactivity. As a result, XRP whale transactions worth at least $100,000 have surged to 22, a sentiment chart shows. In addition, the network has witnessed one whale transaction worth over $1 million. Moreover, insights provided by CRU Analysis, a crypto platform focused on analysis, align with sentiment's data. CRU Analysis highlighted that XRP has continued to print higher lows on the weekly timeframe since June 2022. The analytical platform stressed that this was evidence pointing to a sustained accumulation by institutional investors. Recall that the Crypto Basic confirmed last month that XRP investment products witnessed a remarkable increase in inflows. The recent legal clarity accorded to XRP has compounded institutional interest as investors who dreaded regulatory concerns can now procure the asset. In addition, Phoenix, another crypto-focused analytical platform, asserted that XRP is one of several assets currently in an accumulation zone. Meanwhile, XRP has broken below the 60 cents psychological support. The asset is changing hands at $0.5892 at the reporting time, down 2.12% over the past 24 hours and 8% in the last week. Prominent analyst Michael Van de Poppy previously pinpointed entry points between $0.6033 and $0.5663. Furthermore, in a recent tweet, SBI VC Trade announced a coin lending recruitment program featuring XRP and four other prominent cryptocurrencies. Notably, the coin recruitment program implies the exchange is recruiting crypto investors to lend their cryptocurrencies for profits. In this case, according to the firm, investors are offering their coins to SBI VC Trade itself. Additionally, the firm noted that this service is tailored for long-term crypto holders. SBI VC Trade seeks to offer long-term crypto holders usage or rental fees based on the token given out and its duration. While the Japanese trading platform opens lending services for over 18 cryptocurrencies, the current lending recruitment targets five assets. These are XRP, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ripple Rival Stellar Lumens, and Stablecoin DAI. Per the announcement, the application window opens today at 8 p.m. Japan time. The application is scheduled to close on August 31st, with the lending service lasting until September 28th. Furthermore, the announcement highlighted that a tax of 0.1% applies to all five lendable digital assets. Notably, the current coin recruitment is not the first time SBI VC Trade is launching a campaign supporting XRP. As was reported, the platform previously orchestrated a Midsummer XRP Festival to boost XRP's presence in Japan. 
According to the report, the platform offered the XRP promotion for spot and futures markets as well as its contract for difference CFD, trading suite. Participants could win up to 100 XRP when engaged in XRP-based leverage trading. Interestingly, SBI Chairman Yoshitaka Katao mentioned earlier that XRP investors could anticipate substantial profits once XRP triumphs in its lawsuit. Now to the big question of the day, is the future of XRP uncertain with the latest turn out of events? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. XRP has continued to be a subject of discussion in the crypto community. In a recent outcome, Charles Gasparino, a Fox Business correspondent, commented on the asset's future. His report talked down Judge Annalisa Torres' ruling on XRP, triggering several comments from community members. Gasparino, who has always been an XRP critic, said Judge Torres' ruling that XRP is not a security was a joke. He further cited that Judge Jed Rakoff confirmed this. Notably, Rakoff is the presiding judge over the Terra case. As reported, the federal judge rejected Judge Torres' logic in the ruling. Gasparino remarked that retail XRP investors should not consider Torres' decision a big win for Ripple and XRP. Court rulings are mixed, he said, urging market participants to beware of buying XRP. According to the reporter, who claimed his reports are always accurate, the future of XRP is uncertain. Part of his post reads, I have no idea where XRP will end up. I do know, based on my reporting, the court rulings are mixed, so buyer beware, my reporting always stands up. To authenticate his claims, Gasparino stressed that his past warnings about the AMC and FNMA assets turned out right. He noted that the AMC token dipped massively, as projected, likewise, FNMA tanked after he gave a heads up. So we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video and don't forget to subscribe. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.